actually not. We um, we knew coming in how how dangerous of a team Iceland can be. They play a very unorthodox style. I think nobody plays like Iceland at this tournament. They have a lot of um, undersized guys, um, especially at the big positions. Position one, one, two, three are basically all interchangeable, and sometimes even position four are placed like a point guard. Uh, and they're very good three-point shooters, and they fight like crazy because they're the Vikings. And uh, that's what we saw today. And uh, the only thing we can say is that we didn't play at, at the level that we um, wanted to. Almost during the end, uh, it was down to six points with two minutes to go. Uh, was your heart starting to pump? Like, are we going to lose this? Or No, I think um, I always thought during the game that it's possible to lose. You know, I mean, um, Iceland, we know even if you're up by 20 points going in the fourth quarter, you can lose. And it's just, uh, it's possible. Um, so... I mean, I think it was 69-63 uh, for quite a while there. I think none of the teams scored. I think maybe like one and a half or two minutes. It seemed like endless without a basket. Um, I think it would have been even even tougher if Iceland would have scored in that stretch. One of the guys in Iceland team you know very well. You played with him, Loie Gunnarsson. Was that something that you could uh, use, that you know him? Yeah, no, um, not really. Uh, I mean, it, w it was his birthday today and uh, his first Eurobasket game, so it was uh, it was nice that I got to be a part of that. You know that we played against each other on that. You didn't want to give him a birthday gift and lose the game? Uh, no, I don't think I don't think Lowy's the guy who would take gifts like that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi.